Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, gonna be turning in a few quests here. As you can see, we've already made a pretty big dent in level 69. Mm, we'll take that to sell. Alright. We are now friendly with the consortium. I don't know if that's such a good thing or not, but... So we got a gem stuffed envelope, uh, which is something that you can do. Um, you can come back. I think it's like a semi-daily. Uh, I'm not turning my war beads into these guys. Uh, so you can do those war beads over and over and over again until, like, you can do um, your respective faction quest. Uh, or uh, you can come and do these guys. Uh, oh, I was thinking I could turn in that crystal powder to somebody. Yeah, I'm not going to do any more of that. So now we've got to track down a uh, Ortor of Merc Blood. So yeah, that Magister's Terrace run, I thought that went really good. Um, I think he's in there. I think we accidentally killed him last time we were down here. Um, so if you notice the uh, corpses in here uh, that we were burning, uh, they were all orc corpses, so... So I know he spawns there, but he might have a, uh, a separate spawn point. Let's... I'm not going to just sit around and wait. Well, uh, we did get these shoulders from uh, our satchel of goods. I didn't care for them that much. Um, but our inventory is starting to get uh, cluttered once again. So, instead of waiting for that, we'll just go up here and rescue Corky. That's not usually an issue, like waiting for a, a mob to respawn, but it does happen every once in a while. Um, nothing like EverQuest, oh goodness, no. Um, now that, that game uh, was very rewarding. Uh, I think I talked about it some on my first... Uh, some of my first uh, episodes. Um, but it was uh, much more slower paced. A um, lot more challenging just because the UI was so unhelpful. <laughs> uh, all right.
Alright, Corky is probably in here, I think. Maybe not. Maybe he's up top. Nope, I was right the first time. Ugh, I'm so dense. Oh, somebody's up here farming war beads, I'm sure. Ah, uh, they've got me locked up good this time, Goblin. The War Mall King Cho War has the key. Uh, honored with Kuradai. Uh, yeah, so, wow, that's, eh, strength, agility, stamina, that's actually a, um, a while, um, uh, back when this expansion first came out, um, Fury Warriors, and, uh, they needed, uh, some agility, too, so, uh, we're probably not gonna use any of that, but it's still 13k experience, so. <sighs> However, uh, we can only queue for Utgard Keep now, um, for randoms anyway, but we get much better rewards, a lot more money, and uh, a random uh, blue item for that level, and the experience is much better. Uh, we can still queue for some of these, uh, not heroics yet, um, but, you know, I think I'll... Well, I've only got about 10 more minutes to <clears throat> to do this, so. Oh, dang it. Oh, well, at least we're not going to have to fight our way in here. Yeah. But the, uh, the Utgard Keep, um, that's like the very first, uh, dungeon that you get to, uh, in Northrend, pretty much. Um, oh, oh. There's, uh, a series of quests that lead you there, um. But the, uh, the one thing I do like about uh, Outland, or uh, Northrend and Outland, um, is all of the quests pretty much kind of lead you to the same, like they're all interconnected. Uh, well, not all of the quests, but you know what I'm saying. There's uh, an underlying storyline, I guess, is what I'm saying.
think in Outland it, it kind of touches on that, but not, um, yeah, this is another Gron, uh, one of Gruul's sons, so, uh, but yeah, like, <laughs> like I was saying, it, um, it kind of touches on it, but it's not, um, not as, you know, pronounced, I guess. I think in um, Shadow Moon Valley and uh, Nether Storm, like those, the the zone quests are very much more directed uh, for that. And uh, <clears throat> I think that was a lesson Blizzard taught really well. Is um, you know you get you've got to really engage the the players in storytelling. And uh, even though I did play through uh, a lot of well. The first two or three zones of uh, uh, Pandaria, um, I mean, I kind of can see that they, they were trying to do that, but I think maybe I had gotten so far out of the um, um, the content, content-wise, um, like I'd missed all of Cataclysm, and um, like leveling through there, I just felt really disconnected with... Um, with what was going on, disconnected with my character, um, you know, it was just uh, running randoms. There wasn't really, um, well. So now I gotta wait for him to get locked back up. But yeah, the the Magar, uh, uh, those are the. Uh, uh, the red-skinned orcs, so... So somebody came in and freed Corky, so we just gotta wait for him to respawn. Uh... Come on. Uh, I leveled my cooking a little bit more. Uh, that was kind of neat. I leveled my first aid so we can do frost weave now. Uh, or we will uh, shortly. Uh, archaeology. I'm going to turn that so I can keep looking at it. Um, I still want to go back and uh, get some more uh, dwarf stuff there. Um, but we did get... Um, some orc. Oh gosh, even the very first one. Uh, the orcs of Azeroth originally inha inhabited the world of Draenor, the source of most of these ancient orcish artifacts. At first, orcs were largely peaceful people, but they turned to outright barbarity under the influence of the Burning Legion. The orcs arrived in Azeroth through the Dark Portal and fought against the Alliance in two wars. Another may be on the horizon. Hmm. So that guy got him for us. Ta-da! Alright. So to turn that in, we go back to... Uh... Yeah. Back to, uh... Talar.
All right, so let's uh, swing back by there and uh, see if that guy has spawned back in. You can see right over into Zanger Marsh there. Yeah, I like the uh, the bigger mounts, but boy, they really take up a lot of screen space. And uh, uh, some of the bigger ones that you get in Pandaria are so big, they're frustrating. I, I don't like them at all. <laughs> oh gosh, a hundred plus episodes of me being the hipster uh, WoW player. Oh well. Yeah, this is where he spawns, so we just kind of got to wait. But uh, that's fairly close to 20 minutes, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, get this guy took care of, and then uh, turn in these quests real quick. Um, I don't think it's going to be anything major. Uh, and then I'll probably queue for a random Utgard, and I will see you guys back when we get ready to run Utgard. So, again, this is Foolish Mortal 42 and uh, thank you all so much for watching my videos. Um, again, I, I just do this kind of for fun, so, you know, I'm not really out for subscribers or anything, but, uh, you know, if you give me a like and uh, hit subscribe, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, thanks again for watching.